Hello. This camera is a little bit wonky. A little bit wonky. Hi. Hi. Hello and welcome to another episode of my life. I was out last week. Um, I went home to Colorado to visit my family, um, my little sister's birthday. I got to catch up with one of my best friends, um, Ariel. And I also had the wonderful opportunity to meet up with one of my other best friends who's like an adopted sister to me. We had a very dramatic falling out almost nine years ago. It was right after college for me. I decided that I wanted to make the move to LA and I asked her if she wanted to move with me and she said yes. Anyways, there was, <laughs> I think it was probably just like a lot of stress building up and there was also a guy situation who I think what ended up happening is that he was meddling in our friendship and that just triggered a whole explosive fight between Rose and I and um, it was so dramatic and we didn't speak to each other for almost nine years and then over a year ago actually no I think oh my gosh I don't even remember I think it was over a year ago she sent me a message on Instagram and we apologized and then we had just been kind of talking over that year and we finally saw each other face to face last week and it was beautiful and emotional and gosh it's so stupid you know like petty fights i was so emotional for probably a week after that so yeah it's been two weeks probably a week after that i was just so emotionally drained because i kind of just realized that people come and go and at the end of the day it's the people who really matter who will have the biggest impact in your life and um that's the case for rose and i and i was just so upset at myself for letting that stupid fight keep us away for almost nine years like a whole freaking life just happened in those nine years for both of us and it just it really sucks it sucks too because it didn't dawn on me until then that a lot of a lot of the the past nine years for me really had been missing rose and we are the funniest freaking people together we're so fu we're hilarious we're hilarious and i i met new people and i made friendships probably 90 percent of them kind of just faded away um and I always kept thinking that, gosh, nobody is as funny as Rose and nobody gets my humor as much as she does. And, you know, things, dramatic things would happen in my life too. Like, I dated, um, I had all this just life stuff happen and I always wished, gosh, I, I, I'm gonna cry. I always wished that Rose was there because I just wanted to tell her about all these life events or just like vent with her and ask her about her life and see what was going on and gossip, you know, and all those things. And I couldn't. Um, and it's crazy how a lot of like, a lot of my personality just kind of went numb without having her in my life because she is like a sister to me. She grew up with me. My parents part-time raised her, bought her clothes for, for school. She would spend the night like all the time. She would eat with us. Um, oh, by the way, Rose is, she's white and I'm Mexican. And it was just a beautiful like thing to introduce her to a lot of my culture. She, <laughs> she now has chips with Valentina sauce and lime, you know, that's her staple. Um, she dated a lot of Mexican guys, which, uh, doesn't matter, but I think there was a huge influence on like her growing up with a Mexican-American family, and I think it's a beautiful thing. But anyways, yeah, that was my trip, and so I didn't post anything um, until now because I think I was just going through 
a lot of emotional stuff and I am so happy that I got to see her and to reconnect and we cried but also really happy to have seen my family and to see my other best friend Ariel and um, Ariel is a teacher she's a PE teacher in our hometown and um, it's so funny because I also went to go visit her at the school where we <laughs> we went to school at and it's it was so funny just she gave me a tour of like the gym where we used to have class and how a lot of little things just changed and of course basically all of the teachers are new and oh my gosh that was like almost 20 years ago it's crazy it is crazy life is crazy but anyways here I am attempted to do Pilates getting back at Pilates and just trying to get fit uh, there was a really important audition that I went to do in Denver that I'm still hoping to hear soon um, to see if I got it because it would be a dream come true if I ended up booking this part I can't say anything else um, it would be huge for me <laughs> um, but today I am just kind of chilling in a way. It's it's my day off, um, so I decided that I was going to start off doing some Pilates and then I may or may not do a couple of shipped orders. Yeah, I'm, I took a break for about a month and a half from shipped and I really, really needed it because I was getting burnt out. And um, the gig economy can do that for people who do that. These uh, gigs, especially delivering, there's, you know, so many factors. Um, gas is so expensive. Inflation is crazy. Um, so I think it's, it's hitting everybody. And so driving, you know, a lot. Uh, I wasn't making as much money because some things had changed. And so I could tell that I had to stop for a bit, otherwise I was gonna completely burn out and I didn't want that to happen because regardless of the changes that are happening, I still love Shipped. It's one of the greatest gigs that I have done. Um, if I could pick it, it's probably top two gigs that I've done. Jive being my favorite, but we don't have that here in New Mexico. So anyways, I may or may not do some shipped orders today and then after that I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna go to this ghost town here in New Mexico which is part of the Santa Fe metro area called Los Cerrillos, Cerrillos for the locals, um, basically little hills and Cerrillos has a wonderful I don't even know how to describe it like wild west meets americana 1900s culture i don't i don't know if that makes sense but there's this um late 1800s saloon called the blackbird saloon that has basically been um taken over by these this wonderful couple and they turned it into a fabulous restaurant kind of hangout place and today they have live music going on um, which I'm really excited because I haven't been to the Blackbird Saloon in about two years. A lot happened and a lot of places were closed um, during the pandemic um, and so today we are gonna my boyfriend and I are gonna go just hang out and do a little filming, get some really good drinks, uh, maybe we'll spot a ghost or two, and listen to some wonderful live music and um, pretend like, you know, I'm this vaquera in, in the 1800s. Um, maybe I'm an outlaw, I don't know. But Cerrillos is a beautiful place full of so much history that dates back, oh my gosh, I don't even know how long. Um, 
Cerrillos was a mining town that was booming, but only for like 20 years. So it was like 1879, 1880 to the 1900s. But before that, um, the Spanish forced a lot of the indigenous people that were from this place to uh, do a lot of the mining there. And then stuff happened. A lot of the indigenous peoples, they kind of went on strike, allegedly, legend says, history says, um, and refused to do any more mining. And so this place was basically forgotten until the late 1800s and it was um, revived and it was a booming place with like saloons and brothels and opera houses and um, the mining community and um, just different families, you know, establishing roots and schools and stores and it was a whole community, um, but only for like about the 20 years. And then after that, it it slowly just died off, but a lot of people, they were still, I mean, had roots there. And so it's not like it was like left alone. It was forgotten, um, but people, lived there families lived there there's a church there's you know a whole community and a lot of movies were actually filmed there as well um and it wasn't until recently i don't know how recent um that people just started taking notice of, of it again and i think it was in 2017 that blackbird saloon was purchased and kind of restored but it still had a lot of the original aesthetic from the 1800s and it's really cool because it has one of the coolest just bars that I've ever seen and it's basically original. They've been very respectful of the historic accuracies and in remodeling and all of that um, but it's a really cool place and I can't wait for you to see it. Um, that's about it so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go shower and, and see if I end up doing some shift orders or if I don't, and then I will just get ready for the day and excited to go to Cerrillos. Woo! Hang out with the ghosts. Well, hello there. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Um, this is the same shirt that I have been wearing in previous videos. And you know what? I don't care. I love it. It's actually a men's shirt. Have I have I said that before? I don't know if I have. But it just completes, completes my outfit. I feel like a little western... A little western cowgirl. Maybe. I don't know. So, no ship today, which is fine by me. Um, that just gave me more time to get ready and gonna head out to Cerrillos here in a bit. So, let the good times begin. gloves so I'm wearing these gloves um, because the Sun here in New Mexico is pretty bad and I've noticed that I get a tan on my hands and then the, the rest of my arms uh, but then everything else is a different color so I decided to just use my winter gloves as uh, driving gloves until I can afford to actually get driving gloves Speed racer. Na, 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 na. Okay. We were the losing kind. Won't hang our head in sorrow. The way we done before. Cause you're the one that I've been searching for. Greet the morning 
No sad goodbyes or lonely cries. We've heard them all before. Yes, you're the one that I've been searching for. I thought it meant like miners, like coal miners. Oh. It's not coal miners, it's oh. miners under oh. the age of 21. But I thought it was oh. like actual. I looked at that as the other one. <laughs> We did it. 
<laughs> we did it, you guys. So this is Cerrillo, Little Hills. Yeah. It's haunted, right? Yes. So what's your favorite food? <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> so this church is still... People still go to mass on Sundays. Oh. And there's still a lot of families that live here. But other than that, it was pretty much a ghost town. I think it's still considered a ghost town. I'm going to just start running. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. Um, I don't know. Just gonna explore, walk around, and then go home. <laughs>